Welcome back into the DoD TV archive. Let's nestle in for this one as we join longtime DoD team member John O'Dell on a chilly morning high in the tree. Can John's rattling sequence entice a willing whitetail? Let's find out on this icy mid-November day. I'm Taylor Land, and this is another Throwback Thursday edition of DoD TV. This segment of DoD TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. This is the first time I've been in this tree this year. And uh, this is the tree where I had the opportunity to harvest a really nice nine point buck last year. And I made very nine point and uh, everything's right. It's uh, temperatures in the 20s, it's overcast, um, the deer have been moving and we're hunting an area that has, um, it's, it's a doe bedding area essentially and it's a transition area out into a, a alfalfa field where a number of deer feed and we're hoping to catch a buck sneaking through here looking for a receptive doe so hopefully we'll have some luck. It's easy to understand why or how aggressive calling can work in Iowa around mid-November. But there is a totally different meaning when it comes to understanding body posture or the specific results certain calls can produce. Studying individual deer as they react to your calling is imperative. Open hardwoods allows for the deer to see further distances expecting to identify the source. If the source isn't visible, be prepared to lure them the last few yards by observing receptive body posture. John's calling is a textbook example. Yes! <laughs> yes! He's down right there. Oh, what a gorgeous deer. It's a, uh, oh yes. It's November the 10th and the temperature is probably 20 degrees with a uh, wind chill in the single digits and it's cold. And I was having a hard time convincing myself to stay in the stand, but uh, I did and I decided to be patient and sit here as long as I could stand it. And I saw this buck the first time actually he was going across the top of the hill and I decided to grab the horns. I had grunted a few times and he didn't hear it. It's just a little too windy, I guess. So I hit the horns and I didn't see him for a while and all of a sudden he came running in, but he stopped right behind a tree. And it was driving me mad. I grabbed my bow and I was waiting and I was waiting for him to step out and waiting for him to step out and he never did. And finally, he gave me a nice quartering away shot. It was a little brushy, so I had to wait for an opening, but he stopped right in the opening and, and I was able to get him. Oh, what a great feeling. What a nice eight point buck. Yes. Oh. Alrighty, I got my bow and horns. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, nice deer. Well, here he is, and uh, he's um, he's a great buck. We uh, we came in this morning and it was extremely cold. There were wind chills in the single digits. It's overcast and there was ice blowing off the trees from an ice storm from yesterday. And uh, we decided no matter what, we were going to stick it out because it's the right time. It's the middle of November and the deer should be on their feet. So we decided to endure the elements and this was the end result. He, uh, he came into the rattling, but he surprised me. I rattled and because it was cold, I bundled back up and uh, all of a sudden I looked over my shoulder and there he was standing there. And he, and he stood uh, in one spot for, for a long time. It seemed like an eternity. It was probably just a few minutes, but it seemed like forever. Finally, he, he quartered back into the woods and gave me a nice quartering away shot and I decided to go ahead and take him. And it, was, it was just a great hunt, and this is a gorgeous deer. He's probably a three-year-old deer, but he's definitely a mature whitetail, and, and I'm happy. DeerCast is giving you the chance to hunt with Mark and Terry Drury. Head over to DeerCast.com to enter. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DoD TV was brought to you by Mossy Oak.